Hello and welcome to this AE Basics tutorial in which we're looking at the tools for shape layers in After Effects. Now we're going to be looking at the repeater next, and this is the repeater, but I just want to point out that you can apply one of these items, one of these operands, both to the layer and or to an individual item on the layer. So for instance, if I do shape layer and I've got shape layer selected, I've got four shapes on here, three of which are turned off so you can just see the polystar, which is quite small, and I click repeater you'll see that the repeater repeats the polystar and it's put at the bottom of my stack and it's repeating whatever is above it so if these other ones are on they would get repeated as well I'm just gonna turn that off for a moment because what I'm gonna do now is actually select the polystar itself And when I select the polystar notice that it has already been rotated slightly and I go to add repeater it repeats the polystar in the direction that it has already been rotated. So I've got two repeaters. I've got the repeater on the polystar itself, but also I've got this repeater at the bottom for the whole layer, which is going to repeat everything on that layer, which is actually going to give me, if you like, three versions of what's already happening inside of the shape layer. Just wanted to point out that you can apply these to the individual shapes as well as to the layer as a whole. Now I'm going to leave it on the individual shape at the moment, we're going to work with it actually with Polystar. And I just want to show you that the repeater is actually an extremely powerful tool and something that you can do an awful lot with. And in future tutorials it will come up again to show how you can repeat things and have them look different as well as being the same. Okay, so we're going to open up the repeater and initially it looks quite simple. You've got the number of copies, so you can take the copies out to however many you want. And you've got something called offset. Now, you see this first star here. Offset is not going to move all of these stars together. It is just going to pull the copies through this center point. So it's going to offset where this center point is by pulling these stars through. So the center point is actually going to stay at the same point, but the stars will move through as you offset them. So this is the way that you would animate all these stars moving through your screen. You can pull them through and they go through that center point, as you can see going right the way through backwards and forwards and so that's how you can animate the repeats moving through a scene but there's an awful lot more to the repeater than just repeats and moving them along well the next item down says composite and at the moment you can see that the following star is underneath the star in front but if you change that to above you can see that everything seems to be going the opposite direction so it's just simple as that changing the way that these go however the real power is under this one below that says transform repeater one now this is where shape layers can get a little bit confusing because if I just pull this up to show you the layer I've got the layer as a whole and I have got right at the bottom my transforms for the layer so the layers anchor point is here if I now change the rotation you'll see that I'm rotating my whole layer around that anchor point and I can just right click to reset that but also I have transforms for the actual polystar itself so where it says polystar 1 at the bottom of that I've got transform polystar 1 and I can open that up and when I rotate that I'm actually rotating around the center point of my shape layer just zoom in to show you a bit more there's my shape layer and there's my anchor point and as I rotate around there I'm rotating everything around that point so that's for the actual star itself. However, I'm going to reset that. So it's actually straight now. In fact, let's put it at a slightly rakish angle as it was before because that was quite fun. Now, not only do I have those transforms, but, and this is going to happen more as we move down the operands in this, this add category here. You're going to shut down these transforms. Notice that the operand that we've added is the repeater but there are transforms for the repeater and when you open up the transforms for the repeater this is actually where the power for this effect is going to be seen now I'm gonna shift the offset back to zero so that you can get a real feel for what it's like so there it is at zero and I'm going to just take this star and shift the whole thing across so we can see all of them right so now we can see all of these repeats 
Now we're going to work with the transforms for the repeater. Firstly, I'm going to move the position. Now notice I've got X and Y. Look what happens when I move the Y position. What is happening is each of the repeats is moving by that percentage from the star in front. So the second star has moved by that percentage from the first one, the third star from the second one, the fourth star from the third one. So they've all moved in relation to each other. So if I do the same with X, again, they're all going to move in relation to each other. And look at the sort of effects that you can get by playing with these things. This is just position X and Y. And you're getting some really interesting and powerful looks just by playing with X and Y as they move in relation to each other. Now let's do something a little more interesting. Look at scale. Look what happens when I increase the scale. What I'm doing is I'm moving each star by 10% bigger than the star in front. Of course, I can do it the opposite way. I can make them 10% smaller and sort of get to infinity almost. And now when I get to that sort of look and I pull my offset through, all the stars come whizzing through you get a really interesting look. Take that back to zero. So you can play with the position, the scale, of course, you can play with rotation. And as you play with rotation, each star is rotating by that percentage from the star in front. So we're getting quite an interesting look. And once we've done that, notice it rotating around the anchor point for this shape layer, which is here. Look what happens when we now start to move the anchor point using these controls at the top of our repeater. So I'm moving one way, so that's my X, I'm moving my anchor point effectively across. Unfortunately I can't see it, but I know it's moving across. Now I can move it up, or move it down. And suddenly I'm twisting the paths, because I'm working with rotation. It's rotating around that anchor point. So you can get these kind of spiral looks, and you can change the position again, so that it looks effective, and then you can play with the offset and you can have stars flashing on the screen coming in and coming out and you get these incredible looks just by playing now we've moved the anchor point of course the anchor point in relationship to rotation particularly it's going to give me these wonderful looks and of course we've got start opacity and end opacity so we could change the end opacity and move it right down say 10% or something and you'll see that those stars at the bottom start to fade out slightly and as we use our offset again to drag it through, you can see they are disappearing off. We've got that tail look. So that is the repeater. Now the repeater is something that gets used all the time for all kinds of exciting things. And of course, it's something that I hope you're going to use yourself as you start to work with these fantastic operands. One other little note, if I select the polystar again, I can, if I want, say, add pucker and bloat and it's come into my stack, it seems to have come up here, which is fine. I can open up the pucker and bloat, and I can change my stars to some kind of interesting flower that I can bring through. So it's just gonna repeat whatever has been created. I hope you found this tutorial useful. My name's Andrew Davis, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.